Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again, right? I said I'd do this because this is um this is a topic that's quite close to my heart, to be quite frank. Okay, so Sega has officially bought Atlas, or rather, Sega has officially bought Index Corporation, which is the company that owns Atlas. You know, I think Index has like a shitload of stuff under their belt, like. I think they've got a football team or something, and a bunch of other stuff, you know, Atlas is just one of their many things, but suffice, suffice it to say, to us gamers, the acquiring of Atlas is definitely the uh, biggest deal, you know? So, yeah, a lot of people have very mixed feelings towards this. How do I feel? Honestly, a little bit gutted, okay? Because, I mean, see when, see when this whole, like, stuff about Index going under first came out, right? My immediate first thought was uh, Nintendo should buy Atlas, and they were one of the guys that uh, bid on them, and I don't care how they didn't win that, you know, Sega apparently bidded more money than Nintendo, how does that work? I don't get it, but I just thought that because their relationship was so good, um, after a while, in fact, hold on, um, this just came in the post today, you know, like, you had so many, um, Shin Megami Tensei games and other Atlas games coming out on Nintendo platforms and other things like um, Shin Megami X Fire Emblem coming out in the near future so it just seemed like a match made in heaven not to mention it would have been a really good th uh, third party developer for Nintendo just to have under their thumb and make good exclusive games for their consoles because let's face it they fucking need it right now but that's, uh, that's not coming to fruition um, Sega has bought Atlas so what does this mean? Well, after leaving it a few days, uh, Atlas has come out and said that they're going to be doing business as us usual, essentially, you know. They're not going to be affected, they're going to keep going at it, you know, everything will be A-OK. -okay. And, seeing all honesty, right, um, I highly doubt that Persona 5 is going to come out, right, and Sega is going to be like, nope, we're not bringing that outside Japan, fuck you fans, you know. You know, Sega's not going to do that. I know it's easy to suspect that, given how Sega operates right now, but come on, they're not going to do that, right? With that said, however, see Sega, right? Sega is my favourite company of all time, right? My absolute favourite, right? But they've been pissing me off so much lately. They've been really useless when it comes to localization, right? Fucking Yakuza 5, denied. Valkyrie Chronicles 3, denied. All the Shining games for the past god knows how long, denied. Fantasy Star Nova, which has just entered development, they've went out of their way in Tokyo Game Show to tell the Western audience that it's denied already, that we're no getting that. So it's like, oh my god, Sega, you're fucking useless. You can't localize shit anymore. So why did you buy a company that does nothing but localize stuff? Okay, Atlas USA. They localize all of uh, the Atlas developed games, you know, over in Atlas of Japan, but they also take a lot of time in bringing over niche games, you know, like um, the biggest example recently was Code of Princess, you know. Um, Dragon's Crown, they were the ones that localized that. Um, so, yeah, it's like, why the fuck were you interested in this company if you're completely incompatible? It doesn't make any sense, you know. It, it, it annoys me, it annoys me, you know, it's like, it's, it's, <laughs> this acquiring, this merging, if you will, of Atlas and Sega, you know, I don't necessarily see it as a bad thing, but rather, I see it as a good thing that's probably never gonna happen, right? Because, I mean, I want two things to happen out of this, right? Um, the first one can go one of two ways, right? First of all, and thankfully this seems to be the case, Sega could leave Atlas the fuck alone and let them do whatever the hell they want, okay? That seems to be what's happening, based on what they're saying, you know? We'll have to wait a few years to see if there's any sort of drought in Atlas games or whatever. But hopefully that's the case, you know? Um, the other one was that... Uh, the other way that this could go, actually, was that Sega could actually give Atlas their own games to localize. You know, Sega could be like, all right, you guys are one of the big names when it comes to game localization, you know, along with Xseed, uh, Nipponichi, um, Axes, Rising Star Games, uh, Koei, you know, you're, you're up there with all of them. So we're going to give you our games and you can localize them. You can localize Yakuza 5, you can localize Fantasy Star, you know, all that stuff. But are they really going to do that?
are they really going to just do that? You know, it's I cannot see that happening. You know, Sega fucking cunts that they are when it comes to this stuff. They're just going to keep their games... They're just going to hold their games back all this time and we're not going to get to play them even though they've got a company now under their belt that's fully capable of doing it. It's probably not going to happen, right? Now... And the next thing, actually, and this is like this is one that I haven't seen talked about a lot. Okay, see, as a European, I should fucking hate Atlas. I really should, because they haven't released a game in Europe ever. Okay, Atlas don't operate in Europe. Atlas hates Europe, right? They fucking hate us, and we usually have to wait like a fucking like. How long ago did you guys in America get this game? This came out today for us here in Europe, right? That's how long we have to fucking wait, right? And I could bring up shit tons more of examples, but I'll just yeah, that's it's been like that for years, okay? So Sega, you're in a position to do this, right? If Atlas is gonna be gone about business as usual, right? They're gonna localize their own game, their own games. They're gonna bring over niche games. What you can do is make sure that us here in Europe get those games, like you know on time okay just take all of atlas's games that they've published in america and give us them here in europe will you do that fuck knows like but you're definitely in a position to do that so yeah look i don't know show like show a bit of atlas love here in europe okay um but yeah that's um i, th I think that's really all that has to be said again we're probably going to have to wait this out to see how things happen with this, but it's it's easy to see all of this get going sour, you know. Um, you know, it's it's more believable that the, it's going to get worse before it's going to get good. I hate to be pessimistic about that. But that seems to be the case, you know. I mean, again, I would love it if Sega published all of Atlas's games here in Europe. I would love to see Sega's logo on uh, Persona Five, you know, here in Europe, because again, Atlas isn't going to publish it here in Europe. We're probably going to have to wait until some other company does, but I would love it if Sega's logo showed up there, and again, I would love it if Atlas took these games off of Sega and localized them on their behalf, you know? Like Yakuza 5 again. I really, really want Yakuza 5, right? I'm dying for Yakuza 5, right? I need my Yakuza, guys, okay? Um, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. Either way, I suppose... The really big thing to concern here is, again, and this seems to be what's happening now, we can all just really hope that Atlas will remain how they are, you know? Because as much as Sega is screwing up recently with their localization as f anyway, because everything else Sega does, I'm okay with. You know, Sega, Sega is making a lot of profit right now, and as a fan, it does make me happy. But at the same time, I'm sort of here thinking, but I have nothing to play, you know, so... What does you making money do for me? You know, stuff like that. So, it's just in terms of their localization. And again, you know, the fact that they are making a lot of money right now it just shows that they have money to spare to do this, but they'd rather go spend on Atlas. I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm rambling here at this point. But, yeah. It means a lot to me. It does. But I hope Atlas remains how they are. And, again, with that said, that's that's all i got to say, really. I don't know, post your comments, let me know what you think about this. Um, I'm very interested to know, and we'll see how it goes. So, yeah. See you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.